In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the callers position in the queue back to them while they are waiting. Um, I do quite a bit of setup and explanation in this. If you want to get right to the scripting, there is a chapter called scripting. Just go ahead and skip right to that. Otherwise, I provide all of the files needed um, to make this a success for you. If, uh, if this is helpful for you or you like my content, uh, please like, please subscribe, and please comment. Thanks for watching. So this is going to be a very basic script. It's just going to accept a call. If an agent is available, it will deliver it. Otherwise, it's going to go over here, and this is what we're going to build. It's going to play a prompt. Your call is important to us. Please wait. And then it's going to get the reporting statistic from UCCX. It's going to create a prompt, and then it's going to say, your position in the queue is it will play the generated prompt, hold music, and then it's going to loop through that until an agent picks up. I created a GitHub repo with this diagram along with the prompts and the completed script from this video in case you just want to download that and work off of that. I'll leave the link to that repo, but once you've followed that link, you can just click this code button and then you can download a zip. And while you're here, if you want to leave it a star, I'll take it. And then you can just show in folder and you can right click on it and extract all. Let's go into it and here are all the details of the file. So now we can upload the prompts to UCCX. So I'll just grab this file path right here and I'll head over to UCCX and we're gonna go over to applications and prompt management. And I already have these uploaded, uh, but I'll just show you where I do it. So I went to uh, EN US and then I uploaded the prompts just browse to that path and do those one at a time. Just like that. Oh, and I just realized there's another one. Uh, I'll add this um, to the GitHub repo as well for the whole music. But for the rest of this video, just make sure you upload 1008, 1009, and Opus 1 Part 1 for the whole music. And once you're done, you should see them in your prompts. So with all that groundwork laid, we are ready to create a new script. So I'm in CCX editor and I'm just gonna create a blank script. So on the left here is a new script that I'm gonna create for this video. And the right is one that I've already created and tested and I know is working. So I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate that. And I would make the variables first and I know these are the ones that I'm gonna need at a bare minimum for this video. So I'm just gonna create a snip of that and then start making those. So down here, I'm gonna click this arrow and I'm gonna create a new variable. And the first one is going to be a user type and I'm just gonna name it resource and leave it at null. The second one is going to be a string and this is gonna be the queue. So this is the CSQ that you want to generate the position from. So for me, that's going to be courtesy callback, and you're going to need to set that up for whatever is in your system. And actually, I'm going to mess up. I'm just going to call it CSQ, and then the value is courtesy callback. Okay, and the next one is going to be an integer and I'll name this one Q position and the next one is going to be for our generated prompt so we'll call this one prompt or the type will be prompt the name is going to be prompt Q position and the value will just be the default. And with that, we are done with our variables. So right away, let's just go ahead and accept the call. So that's under contact, accept. Then we want to select an agent. So that's under ACD, select resource. Let's drag that over and go to properties. Um, and we can leave these two, just as they are, CSQ target. So this is a variable we created. For me, it's customer service. And I'm gonna say no for connect. 
and then the resource selected is going to re resource and that was the user variable that I created. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And then if the resource is there and selected, we'll just connect. with the resource again. And if the call is connected or failed, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a couple labels just to wrap things up. I'm gonna call this label end. And we'll go to end. I'll just copy this and paste it okay so we have this whole call or this whole branch set up here on the left call queued no deliver to an agent and go to end so now we're going to start working on this part here where uh, the call is queued and no agents are available so if no agents are available we want to play 1008 there are currently no agents available to answer your call so let's go to that branch we need to go over to queued. So over in queued, we need to play a prompt, which is under media, play prompt. Let's just drag that into queued. Open up the properties of that. And in double quotes, we will put 1008.wave. So that part's all taken care of. Let's look at what's next. And here's where we want to get the statistics from UCCX. So once again, that is going to be in the ACD folder and we want to drag get reporting statistic right underneath that prompt. And then let's go into the properties and we're going to select the report object, which will be Cisco or sorry, ESQ IPCC Express. And the field we want is, let's see, position in queue. Look at that. The row identifier is going to be the CSQ, so our contact service queue. And then the re result statistic will be that integer that we created, which is queue position. And we'll click apply. And so now we have that number. We need to create a generated prompt for it. So let's go over to the prompt folder and do create generated prompt. Let's go into the properties of this and the generator type should be number. And then arguments, just double click this. And then you can choose Q position. The override language should be NUS. And the output prompt will be that um, generated prompt that we created when we were setting up our variables. So let's go ahead and click apply. And so we now have those available. Let's look at what's next on our flow chart. If I can find uh, edge. Okay, so we got the statistic, we created the prompt. The next thing we wanna do is play uh, prompt 1009. Your position in the queue is, and then the prompt number, and then the hold music. So back in media, let's grab another prompt. Right click it, go to prompt tab, double quotes, 1009 wave, and apply. And then we want, we can just copy and paste this actually. Let's go back into here. And here's where, for this one, we want to select the generated prompt. So prompt position in queue. So just uh, let's walk over that quick. So first we got the number, then we created a prompt where the system is basically saying the number that it got. And then, so that saved itself as a prompt, prompt queue position, then this is, your position in the queue is, and then this prompt will play the, the number that the system will read out. So now we just need to make another prompt that plays the hold music. So that's gonna be the Opus one. So I'm just gonna copy this so I don't misspell it. So double quotes, Opus one part one dot wave. And I'm gonna apply. And so we've got all this done now. The next thing we need to do is just make a little loop. So back in the general tab, let's make a label. 
and we want to make it right after the first prompt is played so they don't hear that initial cue prompt every time they go through the loop and we'll just call this cue loop and apply and then also in the general folder we need to drag in a go to label so after the hold music is played we want to go back to the cue loop and I think that about does it. So now we need to validate our script. Go to Tools, Validate, and Script Validation Succeeded. So I think we can now upload and test our script. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. And I have it in, let's see. Uh, I set up a folder already. So I'm going to call it Q statistics demo. I'll save it and I'm going to upload it to UCCX by going to applications script management. And I actually created a folder already called Q statistics and I'm going to upload it. And there it is. Open upload. And now I need to load that into an application. Um, if you do not have an application built already, I'll leave a link for another uh, video that I did that should get you all set up. So I'm doing the customer service one. And I'm just going to look in here. It is qstatisticsdemo.aef. Now I'm just going to update it. And the trigger is 6,000. So let's go ahead and give this a test and see what happens. There are no agents available to take your call. Please continue to hold and your call will be answered in the order it was received. Your position in the queue is one. So that all worked. Let's just sit here and jam to the hottest hold music of all time. And in just a little bit here, we should get returned to this part where we hear our position in the queue again and um, then get sent through the hold music. Your position in the queue is one. Okay, so our loop works. So now just to test and make sure that that number increases with each call, um, I started a call from a jabber, so that should be first place in the queue. Let's uh, call from my phone again and see what happens. There are no agents available to take your call. Please continue to hold and your call will be answered in the order it was received. Your position in the queue is two. So it is working properly. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. That really helps me. If there's something you'd like to see, please uh, comment that as well. This video was actually recorded as a request that someone uh, made via a comment. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.